guys and welcome back to my show. I am Becoming by your host, Monica Singer. I want to say thank you guys uh, so much for following. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening on my podcast. And, um, you know, I want to ask you guys, I don't really ask you guys or, or announce it much even on my Instagram, but I, I do want to ask, like, feel free to subscribe and leave comments. A lot of you guys um, send me messages on my DMs and it's really, really cool to get the feedback from you guys. Um, I love you know hearing from you guys. I love um, the inspiration that you guys say you get from my show. So um, you know, feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comments on my YouTube. I am Becoming by Monica Singer on podcast, um, also on Stitcher. Uh, so check it out, leave a comment, subscribe. It'll help, you know, boost boost my YouTube and, and podcast. Um, but nonetheless, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, I love interacting with you guys through DM. And, you know, I've actually gotten several of you guys to to tell me, you know, how inspired you guys are. I've had a few of you that have even said, you know, that um, I motivated you guys to start your own businesses, which I think is so cool. I, I wasn't even expecting that at all um, because I, I feel like, you know, I'm not here to like try and push anyone to um, open up a business, but like maybe just get ideas or get inspired. And the fact that like, after just a few episodes, you guys are already like, oh, look, I'm already, uh, I, I decided to, you know, do this on Etsy or whatever the case may be is so amazing. Um, I really, really love it. I love hearing from you guys. So leave it in the comments so that everyone else, you know, can see it, they can relate, they can know, you know, how we're interacting, what it is that's going on, any questions, comments, any questions you guys might want me to, um, to answer in other podcasts, I can do that also. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. And as you can see today, there is no guest. Um, it is just myself. I will be talking about um, a topic that all entrepreneurs, you know, uh, talk about when they're first starting their businesses, and that is goal setting. So today's episode, I don't even remember what episode we're on. <laughs> I think we're on nine. Yeah, nine. So we're on episode number nine. Um, so today's episode is all about goal setting. And this is, um, I wanted to do this. It's, it shouldn't take very long. It's very, very basic. But this is for the person that kind of, you know, like the people that I've been talking to through DMs that are like, hey, Monica, you're inspiring me so much to, you know, open up my own shop or my own Instagram store or on Etsy or whatever the case might be. Um, I think this is, or even if, you know, you want to be a realtor or a sale, a car salesman, whatever it is, like you have to set goals. Like you have to have to have to set goals. That's step one to, you know, going to the next level. So once you have an idea, you know, you have an idea of what it is that, um, that you want to do. So let's say, for example, um, you want to have a t-shirt company or a bathing suit company, or you want to become a, a, some type of salesman where you're selling something, selling cars, selling homes, um, I don't know, selling marijuana, whatever it is. Um, you have the idea, right? So then you're like, okay, I have this idea. This is what I want to do. But, you know, a lot of you might sleep on it and have the idea for a whole year. Uh, so what I recommend, step one to whatever business it is that you want to start, um, is make a vision board. Vision boards are so simple, so fun. Um, what it is, is a, uh, all you really have to do is get like a piece of, a big piece of paper, construction paper, whatever it is and grab some magazines and cut out pictures of what you see yourself um, doing or accomplishing the, the next year, right? So um, anything that you see that is a part of you that means anything to you or something that you want that year, for example, say you want a home, a house, you want to buy a house. So put a house on your vision board. Um, whatever it is that inspires you to want to start your business, put it on the vision board, whatever it is that, you know, whether it's 
okay, I want to work so that I want to start this business so that I can buy this car. Put that on your vision board because once you start implementing your business um, and all the actions that it takes, you want this vision board to be next to you every single day, whether it's hanging in your closet, um, in your bathroom, next to you on your desk, wherever it may be, you want to take a look at this vision board every day because this vision board is what, you know, you're gonna look at it and you're gonna say, this is why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for this. Because you, if you don't see why you're working so hard, if you can't see it, physically see it with your own eyes every single day, you might lose track of what you're, you know, of what you're really doing. You might get lazy, you might get tired, you might just say, oh, you know, I don't want to, I don't, you know, I'm tired today, I don't want to work today, or I'm tired, you know, for a whole week and then a month, and then you're not doing anything. So do make a vision board. Um, I made one at the beginning of the year, so I'm going to show you guys what it is. It's nothing, absolutely nothing fancy. Um, and sometimes people might look at it and say, what the heck is this? But it means something to me. So it's just something that's meaning, meaningful to you. So I'm going to share my vision board with you guys today. So you guys kind of have an idea of what it is um, that you can start off with when it comes to planning for your goals, okay? So here, whoops, my water. Okay, so this is my vision board. And let me, let me explain it a little bit. So at the top, it says Los Angeles. I am not originally from Los Angeles. What Los Angeles means to me now is home. Um, five years ago, even four years ago, I, I wouldn't have considered Los Angeles home yet. I was still not, I didn't feel like home. I still felt like an outsider. I didn't feel like I belonged here. Um, but ever since I actually started uh, real estate, which I haven't been in real estate very long. I've, I've been doing it for two years now. Um, ever since I started doing real estate, I've just learned so much about Los Angeles. I've fallen in love with LA. Um, this is where I live. This is home. This is where I had my children. Um, and I've been able to go inside of so many homes, more than any other city. So I feel like I know the city pretty well by now. So Los Angeles means a lot to me. So this, you know, when I look at it, I see LA, I see somewhere where I'm not, you know, originally born, uh, a city that I wasn't originally born in. And it just means a lot to me to look at it. Um, next, a big picture, actually one of the biggest ones besides this one right here. Uh, right in the middle are my two kids. Um, this is Mason and this is Cash. And you know, they're ultimately, they're like my, my everything. They're my whole inspiration um, as to why, you know, I do what I do. I do it for them. They are everything. So these are my kids. It says right here, kids. And uh, they're a huge inspiration for me. Um, they've been on my vision board since they were born. So they're on it every single year. My next thing right over to the right, it's a picture of a man and a woman getting married. I had this, I've had this picture on my vision board for the last two years. Um, and you know, sometimes what you put on your vision board, they, it doesn't come true that year, right? But it's still a goal. You still want it on there so you can see it because you know, it's something that you want. So it's something that you're gonna work, work for. It's something that you're gonna work towards. So. I had this picture on, on there for two years now. Um, not this exact same one, but a picture of a married couple because I always wanted to get married um, to you know the father of my children. And I did. I ended up getting married this year. So this picture actually means a lot to me because I've already accomplished that goal. Um, the next one right below it is a picture of a house. Uh, it's like the inside of a house. It's a kitchen. And, um, you know, this picture I've also had on my vision board for a couple years and we haven't, we're still, you know, living um, in downtown LA, so we're living in apartments and we haven't purchased a home. Um, we've been wanting to buy a home for our kids, but instead we purchased other properties um, because they're, they're investments for us. So what we did, instead of buying a home for our family, we, we bought investment property and you know it's not i don't regret it at all but 
I'm still going to add a picture of a home on my vision board because that's that's my ultimate goal. So maybe this year I'll get you know the house of my dreams for my kids and I um, and my family. But that's still on my vision board. And like I said, it's okay if you didn't if you didn't accomplish it that year. It can still be a goal. It is still something that you're working towards. And I don't regret you know making the investments that we did because my husband and I were workaholics and we would rather you know invest into other things to make more money to live happily and comfortable. Um, so I know eventually we'll get there. So I also have a car, you know, um, this is the uh, Rolls Royce SUV and that's a goal, it's a goal. Hey, it's a goal, I like cars. I like nice cars, we need a new car now, a family car. And I like that one. I like Chanel, I like shopping. And I have, you know, these shopping bags at the bottom. So I have like a Louis bag, Gucci, Geary's, um, Cartier bag. And that's just, that's just, you know, something to say, like I work so hard for, and I wanna be able to buy these things. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, oh, she's materialistic. I mean, yeah, I like nice things. I like to work hard, because I like to buy nice things. I also am very humble. I also buy, you know, non-expensive things, but this is on my vision board because it's a goal. Um, what I actually do after every transaction, I go out and I buy myself either a pair of shoes or a purse, and to me, wearing that purse or wearing those that those shoes just um, when I put them on in the morning it's inspiration because it's like oh you know what I bought this off of my last transaction um, so you know I need to get more it, it, it pushes me it might not for other people but whatever it takes to motivate you do it that's what motivates me I buy myself something nice every time I um, you know every time I'm, I'm done with a transaction that's how I treat myself and I keep myself happy. Um, another thing I have here is a picture of the Maldives. Um, this is where I wanted to have my honeymoon and my husband and I, we got married earlier this year, but we didn't have a wedding. We just did, you know, a really quick um, courthouse wedding because he was tired of my kids calling me by my maiden name. So we, um, we went and did a courthouse wedding, which I'm very happy that we did because we had, we've been postponing it for so long but I still want to go on a honeymoon, so this is definitely going to stay uh, on my vision board. And then I like to eat well, you know, obviously I want love. Um, I see love all the time. I want love in my life. Um, here I have a picture of LeBron, uh, LeBron James, and that's just because we like to go to sports events, so me being able to like treat my husband or just being able to go to these um, basketball games, you know, that is a part of my life and that's something that I, I definitely envision. And the last thing that I have on here that I'm very, very proud of, um, you know, it might not look like much, it's a chair, um, but for me what this represents is, you know, it's an office chair and I had this on my vision board. I've had this on my vision board since ever since I actually um, started doing real estate and it was to have my own office. Um, so I had it on there last year and the year before, and this year um, it's really cool because it finally came true. We're finally in my office, in my personal office. I have my own office, and this is something, this is the goal that I've been working towards um, ever since I started real estate. So I'm really, really excited about that. So as you guys can see, you know, some things I already have accomplished and some things have been on my vision board for a while but nonetheless if you don't have these in your vision um, like you don't you don't you don't see it every day if you if you're not looking at it constantly and you're not reminding yourself why you're doing it you might not even do it at all so it's really important for you guys to um, have a goal and have a vision board Set up a vision board just like that. It can be as easy as that. It can be pictures. It can be anything you want. Um, it can be letters, words, whatever it is that you see yourself accomplishing that year, put it on there. If you don't even accomplish half, it's okay. You at least you know got 
halfway through. Or the next year, you know, you can put it back on your vision board and it'll be something that you're working towards. And as long as you're looking at it every day, especially when it comes to like loved ones and family, if that's a reason for you to wake up every day and to start a business and to, um, you know, work hard every single day, I think it's really important to have that next to you and to take a look at it, especially for those hard days when you don't want to do it. Um, just taking a glance at it sometimes is all the motivation that I need for that for that particular day. So that's the vision board, you guys. Um, the next thing for goal setting that um, is really easy to do and easy to implement, and this isn't really a business plan because there's a lot that goes into a business plan, but it's definitely a way to set goals for um, a new you know a new business that you're trying to pursue. Is um, you know, figuring out the steps that you need to take as to accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish. First thing is, what is the ultimate goal? So you kind of have to start backwards, right? So whether it's a monetary goal um, or a numbers goal, for example, if it's something monetary, if you want to accomplish, you know, if you want to make, let's just say a million dollars that year, if you want to make a million dollars in 12 months, you write it down, you write down $1 million. So let's say you sell clothing. Okay, so you get, um, so you wanna make a million dollars, right? And so let's say the profit off of each uh, clothing piece of item is $50. So it could cost, you know, you could sell it for $100, but you're profiting $50. So let's say each profit off of each article, of each item is $50. You divide a million, which is your which is your goal, what you want to make at the end of the year, divided by fifty dollars, which would be your profit, and so that is twenty thousand. So you would want to sell about twenty thousand pieces of clothing in order to make a million dollars. Now twenty thousand might sound like a lot, right? So you're like, how in the heck am I going to sell twenty thousand uh, pieces of clothing? Divide that by 12, which is the number of months in the year, and you get 1,666. So 1,666 pieces of clothing per month you must sell in order to be on track to make a million dollars. So let's break it down even further. Let's break it down to four weeks. That's 416 pieces of clothing per week. Now, doesn't that sound possible? Doesn't it sound doable? I mean, let's just say you only do half. Your goal is to sell 416, but you only sell 200. Oh my gosh, it's your first year and you only sold 200 pieces of clothing every week. Well, guess what? You made $500,000. I mean, that's not bad for a first year when your goal was a million and you made it to 500,000. This is why it is so important to set goals, to write it down and to implement them by breaking it down. And it can go even further and, and that's why I'm not doing, um, I'm not doing a business plan because it goes down even deeper, right? You have expenses, you have all kinds of costs that um, take place and I'm not, I'm not adding any of this, but it's just a general idea of how important it is to set goals, to write goals down, to implement them so that you can be successful. You might not make it to where you thought you know you could, but as long as you're trying, as long as you're doing it every single day, even if you fall off track for a month, look at your business plan, look at your goals that you had set for the month and say, hey, you know what? I need to sell an extra 500 shirts this month in order to make up for last month because I didn't do what I said I was going to do last month. So if I wanna be on track to make a million dollars, I need to make sell an extra 500 shirts this week. And it goes even further when you're actually doing a business plan. Um, you start implementing you know, how you're gonna sell these shirts. Are you going to have a store? Are you gonna do it online? The cost of marketing? Are you going to, you know, how are you gonna meet people? How are you going to make contacts? How, 
um, how are you going to grow your brand? How it, it, there's so much that that comes into play that you can break down literally day by day. In real estate, I know exactly how many contacts I need to make every single day in order to hit my goal for the year. So if I haven't made those contacts for the week, I know that the following week. I need to hit it harder in order to make up for the previous week. And also, when you're when you are doing your business plan, this is what you do first: grab your calendar, and the for the year. So grab you know January through December. The very first thing that you write on your calendar is your vacation. Jot it down. When are you taking a vacation? Are you taking one? Are you taking two? Um, however many you know vacation days you're going to have, write it on there. Are you taking any? You know, are you working weekends? Are you not? If you're not working weekends, write it down in your calendar. Not working. Not working. Not working. Because then you'll really know how many days you are working for the year, and you'll be able to implement them in your business plan. So you know, hey, you know, I need to sell. X amount of shirts, and if I'm only working five days out of seven, then I need to sell this many pieces of item every single, you know, this many、uh, clothing items every single day in order to hit my goal. And that's just how you break it down. It's so easy, and believe it or not, by you, you, you just doing this will get you so much further. The crazy thing is that only about five percent of people actually write down their goals. Yeah, five percent. So if you're if you're even writing an end date or writing down how much money you want to make at the end of the year, you're already ahead of everyone else. So imagine breaking it down month by month, how much further ahead you would be than everybody else in the competition. People, believe it or not, do not have business plans, or they don't they don't even set goals. So start off by making your vision board. And then you know, start breaking it down. Start big. What is your end goal? How much money do you want to make at the end of the year? And break it down month by month, week by week, and then you can break it down day by day. So that's it for today's show. And again, thank you guys. If you liked this episode, please leave me a comment、um, and. Leave me a message, whatever it is, and if you guys want me to go even deeper, let me know because I can actually break it down even more,、um, and just step by step what it is that you have to do, your daily schedule, what you would need to do.、Um, it's really really cool to see because you just you see the whole vision for the entire year. You see when you're going to take your vacation. You work around your vacation days. You're not working to hopefully one day have a vacation. No, you're working and you're already including your your time off.、Um, so it's really cool to see. And, and if you guys like it, let me know, and we can totally go into it even deeper.、Um, I just wanted to give everyone a brief idea of how to even get started if you're thinking about it. So if you've been thinking about it for a while, again, write it down. And start from there. Make a, a vision board, and then break it down as, as going from how much money you want to make to you know every month, and then every week, and then every day. What 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 it is that you need to be working on. So that's it, you guys. This is episode number nine. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to my channel.、Um, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. It really does help so that you know I know what kind of content you guys. Want to hear?、Um, so again, I am becoming by Monica and Singer. You can also go to my website, monicamsinger.com. Go to my tabs and then watch the vlogs or go to podcasts.、Um, whatever you need, it'll be there. So subscribe and like and leave a comment. Thanks, you guys. <laughs>